In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him. You know, the world fools us all the time, doesn't it? It gives us this impression that there's a lot more to it than there really is. I think of the judgment on Babylon that is soon to come, and surely just around the corner. And the scripture says that the world will say in amazement as they see not the World Trade Center come down, but everything that man has built in opposition to God. And they'll see it lying in ruins, and this is what they'll say, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Can you imagine that? Eric Sauer talks about going to a, a printing exposition, and at this exposition there was a display by the post office in Germany. This was back between the wars, and of course, between the First and Second War in Germany, there was such astronomical inflation that people were bringing wheelbarrows of money to buy a loaf of bread. And so the postage stamps kept having larger and larger numbers on them, and they were worth less and less. And he said, as he came into this great hall, there was a magnificent eagle displayed on the end wall. But he said, it was a very impressive sight, but when we got close enough, we noticed that it actually had been made out of all these devalued stamps. <laughs> they were absolutely worthless. They looked impressive, but instead of a declaration of might and power, which the eagle should have communicated, they were an expression of the impotence of man, the inflated value of the world in which we live. The world is greatly overstated. And I am just so grateful when I meet young people who've taken a good hard look at the world and they're not impressed. And they say, this world's too small. Only God is big enough for me. In him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him.